this video, I'm going to teach you a better, more sophisticated way of texturing in Blender. I'll demonstrate the power of this technique and how it will quickly transform your shaders from beginner to expert. So I've got this simple rock here and I've textured it using the normal workflow. Essentially, we have a principled shader, a color ramp, and a basic noise pattern plugged into the color and roughness. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this form of shading, but it's pretty boring and it's lacking a lot of detail. Let's now run through the new workflow and I'm going to demonstrate this by making a stylized shader. So the basic concept is we're going to steal you violated the law. The fundamentals of Substance Painter and apply them here in Blender. Now, one of the main functions of Substance Painter is that they have a layered system, kind of like Photoshop. Obviously, Blender does not have this yet. It is what it is. But for now, we can create our own layer based system with the right combination of nodes. So let's start by creating a basic version to get a better understanding. I'll start by adding a new material followed by a color ramp and a gradient texture. Now this is going to be our base layer and we need to orient the gradient from bottom to top. To do this, press Ctrl T to get the mapping and coordinates node, then rotate it by 90 degrees on the Y axis. We can now control the color ramp to get a gradient from top to bottom. Moving on, let's make the mid layer. This is going to be a color ramp and a Voronoi. Plug the color into the color ramp and let's change the Voronoi to smooth F1. This now allows us to make some subtle watercolor hints by dropping the smoothness down as well as the randomness. We can also add in some subtle color to the color ramp as well. Finally, we're onto the top layer. For this, I'm going to duplicate the base layer setup and mix a noise texture in. So add a mix RGB and set this to screen. Plug the noise texture factor into color one and the gradient into color two. We now need to invert the gradient texture. So grab an invert node and plug it in here. This is going to act as moss on top of the rock. So I'll change the color ramp to have some green colors. So we have our layers now, and the final thing we need to do is combine them all together. So grab two mix RGB nodes. The first node I'll switch to overlay and then plug the base layer into color one and plug the mid layer into color two. In doing this, we've essentially overlaid the mid layer on top of the base layer. Let's now change the second mix RGB node to overlay as well and repeat the process. Plug the first mix RGB into color one and the high detail layer into color two. Once done, you have successfully created a simple layer based shader. Feel free to tweak the settings of the mix RGB nodes until you get the effect that you're looking for. All in all, this is a nutshell overview of the workflow. Here's a more advanced version of the shader but the same principles apply. Now this is great, but our node graph is looking pretty messy. And if you'd like to learn how to fix this, you'll want to watch this video here. Thanks for watching.